I have grown more this year than I have the past five years. You gotta be happy with yourself at the end of the day because no one else is going to be there with you when you're in your fucking grave. I will never let a cop smack a blunt out of my hand again, especially in my own bed, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Because I was sent to a fucking mental institution. Very rude. Oh shit. <laughs> My name is Kyra and today I'm going to be doing something different on my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my makeup and talking about a few things that I am extremely fucking thankful for because this time last year I was thankful for zero things. Okay, that's a lie. Marijuana. That's about it though. Not a lot. Okay, um, and this year even with Corona I have grown so much. It's insane. So in this video I'm going to be opening up being a real motherfucking vulnerable. Like for real. We talk about self-harm, self-love, self-acceptance. A whole bunch of shit that may lead to one being triggered. So here's your trigger warning. And I feel like people make fun of trigger warnings but there's nothing to fucking make fun of. Like hell yeah if you've been through some trauma and some shit that will like potentially bring up some some terrible memories then Maybe you probably shouldn't watch it. But in today's video, I'm going to be hella open, hella vulnerable, and yeah, it gets real fucking deep in this video. So yeah, if you enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe down below for future videos if you're interested. And if you want, you can also check out some more videos up there. I have reactions, covers, makeup tutorials, special effects, DIYs, whatever the fuck. It's like a whole range on this channel. So make sure to subscribe down below for more videos if, you know, any of that interests you. So yeah, now that I've talked way too much, let's go ahead and get into a bunch of things that I'm thankful for. So there's pretty much a general consensus that 2020 was trash as fuck. For me specifically though, 2020 was definitely a way better year than 2019. But for me personally, I have grown more this year than I have the past five years. Especially when it comes to self-love and, you know, just having good and healthy coping mechanisms to deal with shit. So the very first thing that I am thankful for is going to therapy. This year I finally got into therapy, which is something that I probably should have gotten like 10 years ago. But you know, better late than never, right? I'm not in like some normal ass therapy. What I'm in is called dialectical behavioral therapy. It's like four therapies in one. You have individual therapy, group therapy, call in for coaching. There's a bunch of different things that come with this program, so. It's been extremely helpful and actually I think that's the reason why I'm still alive to be honest. This year I'm thankful that I have not been as suicidal as I normally have been the past few years. I guess it's not entirely true. This year I did um, attempt to commit suicide um, on a multitude of times but there was one specific time where I, it was a couple days before the Super Bowl and I remember this because a few days prior I did a makeup tutorial. I never ended up getting to edit that because I was sent to a fucking mental institution. Very rude. I was literally trying to smoke my blunt and there was like five cops who just dragged me out of my fucking bed. I'm like, first of all bitch, disrespectful. Second of all bitch, why couldn't you let me finish my blunt? Like I didn't even know that I was going to be held captive for multiple days. Bitches, but I mean, I guess looking back at it now, it was a necessary thing that needed to be done and it ended up being extremely helpful. So another thing I'm thankful for is that, and of course blunts because I will never let a cop snag a blunt out of my hand again, especially in my own bed, bitch, get the fuck out of here. And another thing that I'm thankful for is being diagnosed and I don't want to tell you guys exactly what I'm diagnosed with because I don't want to say I'm embarrassed, but I just find it unnecessary. But if you really want to know that bad, just Google what you need to be diagnosed with in order to be in DBT and there you go, you'll have your answer. Um, so yeah, that's extremely uh, difficult to deal with but this year I have dealt with it much better than I have in the past. Literally all last year, I probably cut myself every single day for multiple years straight, like every single day. And I wouldn't just do my arms, no. I definitely moved to the throat and that's when, you know, they're like, nah, I'm taking this, taking you away, bitch. I definitely, um, I definitely, uh, started doing the throat, but I'm here, I'm back, and I'm better than ever. Like, literally. I haven't cut in at least six, seven months, probably, and I used to every single day, so that's probably the biggest accomplishment that I've ever had, like, to date. Fuck a degree, bitch. You stopped self-harming. That's, like, the biggest, that's the biggest thing, and I don't want to cry, so I haven't cried in a minute, actually. But yeah, I don't want to cry, so... Let's go ahead and move on to some things that aren't as fucked up. Another thing that I am extremely thankful for this year is finding my own self-love and my own self-worth. And I can finally 
say that I am happy being single and that I don't need a man to like make me feel worthy in life. I used to be a hella self-conscious person, but I'm actually not anymore. I mean, I understand I lose weight and all that shit, but like, bitch is cute. Like, a bitch is cute. And, you know, I don't need anyone to sit there and tell me that I'm cute because I already know it. <laughs> so I guess that the confidence within yourself just comes with age and, you know, realizations about certain things. You gotta be happy with yourself at the end of the day because no one else is going to be there with you when you're in your fucking grave. Something else that I'm thankful for is that I finally put up boundaries for myself. <sighs> like what I will and will not tolerate in a relationship. I don't know. I just think it's really sad when people are scared to be alone so they just like get comfortable in a relationship even though it's fucking terrible. You were alone when you came into this world like bitch. All I need is my mama. <laughs> Everyone else can go fucking kick rocks. The only thing I would need a guy for is to fuck but like most of the time he can't even find it as good as I can anyway so is there really a point? No, I am more than happy with waiting for someone who actually deserves the fucking biscuit than, you know, some random bitch. Like, I ain't trying to catch a clap. Do y'all want the STDs? Because I don't. Y'all not about to give me nothing. Hell no. Nah. I'm super fucking thankful that I am not pregnant and I do not have STDs. Like, man. Like, there are points where I have thought, like, oh shit, both of those things are possible. That's what happens when you don't fucking wrap up. But thank God. Thank God we don't got to worry about this shit. Like... Next thing that I'm thankful for is that I am able to work. I know damn well I could have been making three times the amount of my normal pay by collecting unemployment during a pandemic, but you know, I'm just gotta be thankful that my job hasn't closed down because we're in a signed up fucking work or whatever. So even though I don't really want to work and I want to be making more money while sitting on my ass, I, I just have to be thankful because there are a lot of people who don't have jobs who like need them who are desperately needing them and they can't get unemployment. I just have to be super thankful that, you know, my job isn't on the line. Blessing and a curse. I'm honestly surprised I haven't caught the Rona to be honest cause hella fucking customers. I love like I deal with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of customers all day. There are people who are literally homeless and they don't have any roof over their head. They have nothing. <sighs> and they're sometimes they're more fucking thankful than I am. So like they're just thankful to be alive. So I like really have to be thankful and think about like wow it's still awesome how i am able to work because some people aren't even able to do that like my mom she's not able to work ever fucking again because she had a fucking brain surgery how to remove an entangled tumor the fuck and then make it even worse the doctors fucked her up and um the screws are popping out of her head and i felt them and they were gross my poor mommy she don't deserve none of this shit so yeah also um this year i am hella thankful for family and friends like for one of my friends josh like, he was seriously there for it all. At my worst, more than anyone else, except for, like, my immediate family. I was in my closet one day, literally, like, you know, cutting myself, and I just called him, and I usually, I don't call anyone. I just sit there and I cry all by myself, and my lonesome. But I finally, you know, took the step and called someone, because I knew what I was doing wasn't good for me or my mental health, and I didn't want to, like, take it farther than I needed to go. You know, I might not be able to come back from. So yeah, as I'm sitting here bawling my eyes out, Josh is talking to me on the phone, talking about I love you, it's okay. <sighs> Emotional. I love you so much. Also, my other friend Tamara, I love you so much. You guys are always there for me through everything. So yeah, extremely thankful for my family and my friends. Also, moving on to my family, my mom, I'm, I'm thankful that she's fucking alive, first of all. Because of the surgery, she had two strokes. And when strokes come, speech and words and language declines. <laughs> kinda, I kinda sound like I'm declining. <laughs> it's really hard seeing your mom fucking go through that, but I have to at least be thankful that my mom is here and alive. Like, my coworker the other day just lost her mom and it's like just the saddest fucking thing ever because I don't know what I do without my mom. And I just need to stop because I'm about to cry right now. Also thankful for my other family. We have my Aunt Jessie like sitting there with her at the hospital when I couldn't and like driving us to go see her. Like she was, she was there for all of it making sure that my mom was good. And I'm also thankful her surgery went well. She got a surgery um, a couple weeks ago. Another one actually, like <laughs> my whole family's going through it. Also my grandma she has breast cancer but um she's been taking pills and it made it shrink so that's like a fucking blessing because my grandpa died from cancer so it definitely runs in the family and it's a very real and scary thing also my aunt and my grandma in um dc they're always looking out for me and calling me and 
you know, making sure things are good. Um, my grandma actually was the person who first started to get me help because, you know, I was ignoring her a lot of the time and she knew something was wrong. So she was there to make sure that I got therapy and after I told her, she was the first person I ever told about my cutting addiction. After I told her, everyone in the house ended up knowing and yeah, it was just a thing that, you know, the whole family as a whole dealt with. Like, it's not just me. It actually realized how much it affected my family. And I think it did. I <laughs> think no one gave a fuck. Um, but people do. People do give a fuck. So the next thing that I am very thankful for is my amazing pets. Also, when I was, you know, talking about that whole thing with Josh, um, my dogs were in here. And dogs can really sense, like when shit is going down. I wanna help you, like my dog is sitting there just fucking whimpering and it made it even harder to, to do it cause he's just sitting there like, trying to do his paw like this up on me, like it, it's heartbreaking. Um, so I did eventually stop because of, and then just hold my dogs. And then he's over here trying to lick my fucking blood up as I'm crying, like it, it was a whole thing. Um, but I'm just so happy and thankful that I'm not in that place anymore and I don't know what I'm gonna do with all my animals when they pass away because they're like literally humans they're part of the family and they're my babies I love my baby so much dude there are two times this year where my dogs you know we thought they were dead they were dying so six hundred dollars each two separate points but like they were just swaying back and forth and he was dehydrated like what the fuck we need our dog okay we need him so the next thing that I'm thankful for is my YouTube channel. You know, if someone had the type of growth that I had, they probably would have quit by now. Like, that's not why I'm doing this. I'm literally doing this so I have something else to distract myself from, from killing myself, basically. Right now, it's not at that point, but when I started, it definitely was. And you can tell in my older videos, like, how fucking depressed I was. And you can see it from, like, scars and shit. Like, a couple days ago, I looked at a video and I was... I was baffled. I was mind blown at how just scarred up thankfully through I have more reasons for wanting to live and more reasons for wanting to do things and be productive in life so yeah I'm thankful for the channel thankful that is a amazing distraction for me and you know it keeps me busy and it gives me something to look forward to every day guys I haven't had pimples in a very long time but like I have a whole cluster fuck of pimples right now because of masks like goddamn so COVID has literally been a fucking catastrophe this year but I'm thankful that I haven't caught it. I'm thankful that none of my family has caught it. I don't know anyone who's died from it, thank God. So another thing I'm thankful for is that Biden's in office. Hey, woo woo. Like I never thought this day would come, honestly. I thought Trump was definitely gonna win again, but we came through and he really thinks he won, like by a lot, an election's fraud. When it's the most secure election in the fucking history. Like get the fuck out of my face, you dumbass orange bitch. Sorry, I just went off. I need to stop. So real quick, another thing that I am thankful for is that he has to leave office no matter what. Even if he wants to sit there and squat in the White House, like, no baby boy. Like you got to go. You have got to go. Like yesterday. As in four years ago, go, like it. There's probably way too much bronze air. Look, I got sucked in the fucking face. That's awesome. He has to go regardless. Like, this ain't no fucking dictatorship, motherfucker. You got to go. So I'm thankful that I don't have to worry about, oh, well, what if Trump doesn't concede? It doesn't matter if he doesn't concede. It really doesn't. It doesn't mean two shits. Except breaks tradition because you're a sore ass loser because you're a crybaby ass bitch. The next thing that I am thankful for is marijuana, of course. Like, wouldn't be here without it, to be honest with you. The next thing that I am super thankful for this year is that I kind of want to start a business. I found a new hobby of making art. And well, I've always done art as a kid, like always, but I found resin art and that's shit that you can actually sell. And I'm, I don't know, I'm super excited for it. Soon I'm gonna have a video showing you all of the ashtrays that I made out of resin. And they're so fucking pretty, okay? By the way, if you're wondering, these are some of the products that I used on my face. I'm gonna go finish the rest of my makeup off camera and I'll be right back to show you the end result. But did I kill this look though? Did I? Did I not kill this look though? Like, fuck. I'm so not used to playing with color, but looking cute. Thank you so much for being here and listening to some of the things that I am thankful for. And this year, this time last year, I was thankful for zero things. Marijuana and that is completely it. But this year I have definitely found many, many, many things to be thankful for. Um, especially being here, like in general. I finished my list, but the only thing that I forgot to mention, um, 
is when it comes to sexual assault and basically long story short don't let anyone take you for granted or you know I don't I don't need to get into detail but fuck anyone and everyone who tries to fucking get in the biscuit when a bitch says no because it's just traumatizing trust me so yeah that kind of ended on a sour note so yeah uh thank you so much for being here I really appreciate it and thank you for being open with me because I the only reason why I'm like being so open is because I know like a max of 10 people is going to see this so like I ain't tripping about who I share my opinions with or you know some deep dark shit that I've been through this year so I mean I don't know it is what it is thank you for being here if you actually made it to the end though because I really appreciate it and I'm sure I rambled a lot sorry about it but yeah thank you so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to give a like and subscribe down below for future videos if you're interested and if you want you can also check out more videos up there also don't forget to comment down below and tell me a few of the things that you were thankful for or if some of those things are on my list also let me know down below I'm really interested to hear your guys' opinions so yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I get to see you in my next video bye sorry I almost choked on a piece of weed